Billy will try to take that throne away from him. Uh, Reno has won all the major competitions, not only on juniors but also on seniors. Center. Last year, European champion, uh, both and uh, world champion on the left arm. Bacho has insanely strong hand. Reno goes mostly for press. We can see from the setup, and I believe this is where they're gonna go. Uh, Bacho definitely will cause problems, and we will see the first round who is who. Reno shoulder. Inside Don't versus move. outside. Stop. Mm. One foul start, Rino. Rino, 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 Rino. One warning. Obviously going with the shoulder roll, yeah. chopping on Bacho. Yeah, shoulder, Bacho. Shoulder. Shoulder. I don't think he really told us what he's going for. But this is going to be fast, guys. Both ways. This is going to be fast. And here. Bacho's hand, this you Rino. saw how insanely Let big go. it is. Ooh, very good, very good start from from Sakinashvili. Yeah. yeah, very good start. Do you think he wanted the straps, or do you think that that was his game plan to go outside? I think he just wants to go sideways, and I think he, if he can hold on, he will hold on. And Reno's hand has been known not to be the strongest, and I think the biggest weapon of Bacho is his hand, his ability to control the match through his hand. Uh, what we're going to see from Reno is he can fight in many different positions, but this is definitely a really, really tough match for both of these athletes. I'm excited to see. For me, this is the small main event, and it, it is on its place on the card as well. Reno versus Bacho. This is the moment of true route number one. Dude, Bacho said that one sideways. It's, it's going to be insane. I, I just did the same thing. Went sideways an entire suit match. Just the opposite. Yeah, sorry, job, so yeah. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort yeah. oh, let's see. Here it comes. Yeah. So don't, don't push the see, you see how high Bacho is? And uh, it all will come down. Can, can Reno push in the center? Don't push the center. Not not down. Down. Yeah. Very high. Very high. Is Reno deep enough? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if he can get the cup if he can get his Richard's Rich. hand is Bacho's hand is so move go yeah. both of them both very slow go for both of them kind of missed the goal in a deep hook battle deep hook battle yeah they both missed the goal by a mile let's see who has more who look like Bacho if he tried to roll out he feels very confident can go past and getting himself open very open Bacho opens him up this is so so equal from both sides Bacho I can see he ate the pronator of Reno he's in a better position but he's opening himself up Reno trying to put his shoulder back Goes for the press. Oh, such, no, such oh, this is what we wanted. This is an absolute war. This is what we expected out of these Round guys. Number one. All the yeah. way out. Number one. I, I love how they both missed the goal. Oh, so man. close. We know things. We know things. This is the goal. Still has it. Wow. What a tough match for both of these athletes. This is going to be a crazy match. Yes. That, yes. That tells yes. us nothing about how round two is going to go. Yeah. Like, this Reno, is going to be awesome. Masic, Inafuk looking very good. Bacho looking equally as good. But, yeah. Every time Bacho moved, he opened himself up. So he couldn't hold. But he had the pronator at one point. It was back and forth. Really big battle. Let's see what happens now. I think both of them are a little bit... Not a little bit, but pretty exhausted. They're yeah. going to use the full 90 seconds. Well, it's going to be interesting because they're both uh, pullers that are really fast and base their things off. They're ready to go. Their main moves is how they're yes, ready to go. Yes, and they both missed they, it. Yeah, they both missed both it. Missed so it. this could look totally different. I mean, they're, if Bacho could have an amazing ready to go and just flash screen, it's possible, I'm saying. Yes. And so, like, I'm really interested to see if they hit their ready goes and does that look different or does it look the same? But they that was beautiful inside pulling. If you guys are new to arm wrestling and you're watching this, you understand the pressures they're applying. When they come with that shoulder forward, they're grinding on their joints of their elbow. They're, they're applying side pressure through their joints by rotating their skeleton like this it, it's crazy the, the pressures that are being used there and how intelligent they were using it but I think that Reno is a little more comfortable with that press option he's definitely he, yeah. Reno they, they both started in a hook in a deep deep hook and fighting for their pronator for high position and then Reno transitioned to a press in this position Bacho was fully supinated and I think he drained a lot of his back pressure and if you want a top roll you know you need back pressure the hands are, are for both of them I think they are fresh but also in a hook you get cooked and uh, let's see what Bacho can do right now. Yeah, I, I would say see. I, 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 I believe they're so pumped. Yeah. So oh, pumped yeah. right I mean, look now. at his face. Yeah. He's already, yeah, they're, they're 
They're yeah. spraying him down there. That's, a, that's an oil. That's a machine oil because Bacho is an absolute machine. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it seems like like um, Bacho basically is looking for more hand dominance. He wants he wants to utilize that big hand and that cupping and really expose Reno's hand. And Reno's looking for more shoulder dominance. He's really trying to find a way to get that press in there and get his shoulder yeah. behind his arm, his hand, so he can push it down. Both guys just 19 years old. Oh, Both wild. junior that's world wild. champions, European champions. Uh, Reno since he was 16 he has been dominating the junior class and then going to the top also on senior classes uh, this is amazing match both of them are definitely worthy to be in this and let's see where the round number two goes it was a slip and there was a strap but this time let's see where this will go it's ready guys it's going to mean so much guys let's see where it ends up I feel like going to go backwards is he? No risk. Oh, it looks like he's leaning forward to me. Yeah, Don't move. Go! Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. foul. Yeah. Foul, yeah. Yeah. foul. 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 Like I think his arm is, he was, he was already big. Well, that's the thing. I mean, this is kind of new weight for Bacho. When you gain that much weight, it's hard. The endurance is going to be hit. That's fast weight for him. Like Reno was cutting. He's normally around here. Bacho was gaining. And so that's it's tough to keep endurance and keep your breathing steady while gaining a ton of weight. I'm excited. I'm excited because I still believe anything can happen in this match. We right. saw where Bacho is strong. We saw where Reno is strong. But the problem is, if Bacho gets blown right now and he, his arm is too pumped, he cannot get the positions he wants. Uh, it's going to be a long, long day for him. And we see like the bullying from the center from Reno. He's coming so much forward and eating up Bacho. Let's see if Bacho still has something. If he can hit first and maybe get a little connection and go roll out. And he gets it, he gets it. Holy supinated is Reno. The back pressure. Back pressure. Trying to roll out. Gets the hand. Gets the hand. Going back and forth. Going back and forth. Driving that shoulder forward. Reno finished the position before. Basically, Ken Bocho had no clue and cut his way out of there. This is the match we all wanted to see. This is the match. All the fans wanted to see Reno with a press so close. Bacho can open him up. And Reno makes the pin. 2 0. What a match. What a match. Wow, Bacha winning the hand of Reno, pushing through with his shoulder. Now, so this changes the game a lot. Reno's oh, wrist has now been exposed. Yes. 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 Right. So, so Bacha with speed and, 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 and his ability to control Reno's hand could open up a lot of doors, but is he that tired now? And now that his break out, his oh. hammer curling ability has been ripped yes. open. I think, I mean, I think it's going to be a big problem. Depends. Really depends on where Reno will go now. If Reno just jumps in for a flopless press, protecting his pronator, I think it will be an easy day for him. Right. But if he tries to hold on, again, Bacho can take control and get into the B side, and then you have to fight your way out. Reno was in a deep trouble. Yeah. He was deep trouble, fully supinated, a lot of problems outside of his shoulder, and still managed to do it. We have seen it this so many times. This young man is so impressive. Make no mistake, Bacho is also. That was an absolutely great round for both of these yes, guys. Yes, definitely. I want. I'm really interested in Bacho's elbow placement on this. Assuming they go back to the strap, same scenario. Is Bacho going to go more vertical? So when he does drive back, he has more drive uh, offensive rather than sliding his elbow back a little bit too early and being caught in the back of the pad. He kind of he kind of run out the space. Yeah. In this one. Yeah. But now that now that Reno's yeah. wrist is exposed, yeah. like I said before, guys, the wrist is like a bottle cap. You crack it one round, it's going to be weaker the rest of the rounds. Definitely. So now Reno's Definitely. wrist has been exposed. Definitely. So what can Bacho create out of that? The problem is Bacho needs that back pressure, and he knows even if he takes the wrist, Reno is still in the match. Still in the match. This is what this is kind of what I expected. I expected Bacho to be strong enough to take the wrist, but I expected Reno to be strong enough to hold this. And look at that forearm. Look at that arm. It just went up three sizes. <laughs> <laughs> He's now fully Bacho <laughs> level second as well. Reno will go for a floppish press. Uh, don't move. Go! Oh. The press. Yeah. Yeah. Predict Predict right. Right. Predict right. Right. So, I mean, still with these guys. I mean, still with uh, the damage they've taken in, in the dirt. This ready to go just means so Boom. much. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, oh. it's still more explosive than I'll ever be. <laughs> Even three rounds in. Oh, yeah. 
Well, you know, it turns out you're not 30. <laughs> you know, how most of us think you're 30, you know. But uh, these guys are 19 years old. They're fresh. These are the they're same strong. age as Audenler. Yeah. For and perspective. Uh, funny thing is, Reno is younger. Reno's younger. Reno okay. is a little bit younger. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. On this car, oh, we have three, young, three 19 year olds Paul, uh, Auden Laret, Reno Masic, and Bacho Seganishvili. So, uh, just to show for everyone that arm wrestling is for all ages, all. Every center, don't push the center. Really, an outside looks on the right side of the pass. Reno is going for the press percent Let's see if he will get the cup. He gets the cup. He gets the Maybe a first time. Is there a runner in there? I think Bacho is on the runner. And now I think Reno is just bleeding him out, bleeding him out. Yeah. I think Bacho is cooked. Back pressure is cooked. Three oh! Reno Masic wow. is one round away from making sure that we, everyone on planet Earth knows that he's the number one youth puller on the planet. And it's crazy, I mean, the score wouldn't even reflect how intense these matches are, how close these matches They're are, you know awesome. what I mean? They're it, awesome. They're it's awesome. Bacho's yeah. right there, but Reno, with that with that shoulder uh, capabilities, yeah. has just proven to be too much. Yeah. I think uh, first round where they both missed a go, mm. kind of, right? If Bacho would have started, Reno kind of, he would have taken a hand. Maybe we'd see a completely different scenario right now, but it is what it is. They both started very slow in a deep hook. I mean, even that round, I don't know if it was a video lag or something like that, but was there a stutter after the ready-go just now? It seemed like after the ready-go, they kind of paused for Again, a second. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know Both what of these guys are WF pullers. Right. They are used to ready-go. So they're waiting for that ready in their, like, in their, like, subliminal. It's always, like, in your head. You're right. waiting for ready-go, right? And then they hear, don't move, and they hear go, and they're like, oh, we're... Right. Right? I think that kind of messes with them. Definitely messes with them. Man. So what options does Bacho have now, do you think? Like what, 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 what would you do? Your Bacho's, your Bacho. You know, what do you do right now with Reno coming forward with the shoulder flop or with his hand being able to press? I, if you can't take the hand, still continue taking the hand, but keep it high. Stay high. Stay high. Like you said, transition, move back, keep your forearm vertical and strike right there on the pad so you have more space going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I want to, like, I, I'm just now thinking, like, when I pull, I don't even listen for the goal. Like, I just know what was the goal. But right. Do you listen for the goal? Like, do you remember? Because that's not the thing I'm looking for. No, I mean, I don't think it's on my match. I miss all goals. <laughs> I just, I okay, just so go when I can. I just double check. Sorry. <laughs> double check, yeah. um, so, I mean, Reno, just keep doing what you're doing, right? Yeah. Basically, just keep pressing, keep pumping forward yeah. that shoulder. Re Reno's press is insane. I think Reno can top roll if he wants to, but he knows how strong the forearm Bacho is. And right. if you try to top roll this guy, like even the setup, like look how low Reno is. He's not fighting for that grip. And I think as a top roller, you kind of hate it. You hate when the guy is not on top, on top trying to fight for that knuckle. You want that pressure right, right. there. But the pressure is all on the wrist, all on the pronator. And gets a good cop. No, I don't think they missed the goal. I think yeah. uh, Reno just stopped he, it really you good. You know, you know. And he's tightening up. I mean, they're both tightening up really well when they're embracing the hook. The Bacho is, is kind of, I don't want to say running for his life, but he's everything into running right now. Uh, the first round, he was really embracing that hook, going shoulder forward and trying to match Reno. I wonder if that would change things if he did that again. What is going on? I would love to see what's going on on the table right now. There's some screaming going on between David Arabuli. They thinking that Reno did a false start. I don't think he did. I don't think. I think they if they if they missed they both missed because Reno wasn't the first mover. Yeah, like I said, there was a weird pause there, but it I don't know who to blame. Yeah. 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 Jody up there fighting for Reno. Yeah. <laughs> She's uh, what we call mother. <laughs> Stop whining. There was no false start. Stop whining. Oh my gosh, Jody going hard at the Georgians. She's going hard, yeah. <laughs> She's starting the fight that she will have in April. <laughs> the match has already started. Right. Tick tock, tick tock. So pretty much straps, right? We're going to go I'm, straps. I'm pretty sure it's going to go for straps. Center is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't push. If, if this, Reno can this, manage uh, to hook him or, or press him right now without. I'll be very impressed. Okay, yeah, you'll put the there. Yeah. 
Don't move. Stop. No, no. Where's the dance? There was no go, right? No. There was no go. <laughs> okay. Not even. Not even. Don't move. Uh, it's hard to tell because. Here, here, here. Okay. Here. No. Shoulder back. Knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. Dobre, dobre. It's hard to tell what's really going to change this match. Yep, Reno going flop press. Straps. I'm pretty sure Bacho saw that coming. Bacho could have, like, he could have tried with the, like, what, the, what Tobias did with uh, Wagner. Mm. He could have gone to the center. One level. He could have gone through the center, right? But he's afraid that he's going to get sucked in the hook. He right. stay on the outside. Yeah, he's still, um, he's still level. He's but if you know, like, every time your opponent wants the strap, and I think the strap right now, Reno needs more than Bacho. Mm. You know, you might try to stop him uh, right wrist, you know, Waku, you I just, I'm really interested to see how you know, how Bacho is going to escape uh, from Reno's hand and how, how he, he's going to be able to maintain knuckle up pressure while driving back with that bottom strap. He's totally right. I mean, I'm, that's really how far he can drive back and how much he can open up Reno is going to be win or lose. That's going to make or break the rest of his match here, I think. So this is it, round number four. I don't think they're going to pull fifth if Reno wins. Let's see, let's see if Bacho has anything left in that brachialis. And, uh, wrist, wrist, wrist. Shoulder, shoulder, go! 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 I mean, we, we had the rules Great meeting. Match. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Yeah.